Hi, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and this is the Orion Starseeker 4 150mm, that's 6 inch, reflecting telescope. This is our biggest telescope that we've put on the Starseeker uh, tripod, and it fits very well on this, especially considering that our new Starseeker line has a nice solid uh, steel leg system and a nice solid swept back arm, allows you to go directly to zenith here without hitting the tripod. And um, overall, a very nice compact telescope, still fairly lightweight, but sucks in a lot of light. Uh, first of all, a six inch reflector like this, uh, that's, that's getting into some pretty nice size apertures. So not only moon and planets, uh, rings of Saturn, of course, uh, cloud bands on Jupiter, but you can really get into the deep sky objects with these as well. Not just the Messier objects like Orion and Andromeda, but many uh, fainter things, a lot of the NGC objects, are within the reach of a six inch telescope, provided that you have a, a fairly dark sky site away from the city lights. The nicest thing about this telescope is the Starseeker mount. It's the Starseeker 4, like I said, fully robotic. So you punch in what you want to see into the hand controller here, and it will go to the object, it will center it, and then it'll continue to track it as it moves through the sky. So you don't have to find anything yourself. It's just a simple two-star alignment at the beginning and then it knows where everything is. The, the biggest new feature about this system is the closed loop feedback. It's got a uh, dual encoder system built into the arms. So what that means is with many go-to telescopes on the market, once you do the two-star alignment, if you were to manually move the telescope by hand without using the hand controller, the computer would be lost. It didn't know you just did that, and so now you've got to redo the alignment before you can find anything. Well, with the encoders in there, it knows exactly that you've moved it off. So let's say I've used the hand controller to find Jupiter, and it's tracking it right there, and then I want to quickly just point at something over here, and I don't want to use the hand controller to do it. Well, I can just unlock it, move it by hand to the new object, and then let's say I'm done and I want to go back to Jupiter. I could just tell the system, go to Jupiter, and it will automatically go back to the original position. It hasn't gotten lost at all, no matter what you've done manually uh, on top of the mount. That can be very nice as well if you are just trying to save some battery power, um, and you want to go from Jupiter to some object way over here on the other side of the sky. Well, you could have the hand controller go to it, and it would um, automatically zoom across the sky, use some extra battery power, because uh, the, the motors on full slew are what takes most of the power. Or you could save some juice and just manually unlock it, move it to the other side of the sky, and then enter the object here, and it'll just do the last little bit of the alignment uh, and uh, pointing uh, there, and then you've saved the uh, extra battery power. So a very handy system, and you're never going to get lost when you're using it for looking at things in the night sky. The scope itself comes with two eyepieces, a 23 and a 10 millimeter wide angle eyepiece. There's a finder scope, the easy finder on the side. Y you really only use the finder scope for doing the initial two-star alignment. After that, you turn it off and then you don't need it because the scope is good enough to find everything on its own. All right, well, there you have it. The Orion Starseeker 4 150mm, that's six inch, reflecting telescope. Thank you very much. Clear skies.